The CEO of Stellantis, well, he's he's at it again. He's making some really interesting or slightly bizarre comments. He's saying that electric car batteries need to come down in weight by 50%, which would mean they're lighter than an engine. I'm not sure why 50% is the number he's decided to pluck out of the air. He's saying battery weight needs to come down by at least 500 kilos or more than 1,000 pounds. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The boss of Stellantis says that the weight of battery packs used by electric vehicles need to be significantly reduced to make them more environmentally financially friendly and to solve lithium scarcity problems. Now, I've reported on the so-called myth of lithium scarcity problems, debunking that on numerous occasions. It's utterly nonsensical. Not to mention, we also have sodium battery factories popping up all over the place. I think he's just um, probably not aware of that. Maybe he read the uh, the Toyota the Toyota's uh, FUD or you know fake information where they said there's not enough lithium for all the batteries in the world. Well, actually, there's more than enough. That's why lithium is so cheap right now. There's an abundance of lithium. Anyhow, while recently speaking at the Stellantis Freedom of Mobility Forum, the Automotive Group's Chief Executive Carlos Tavares said the current EVs with a range of 250 miles or 400 kilometers require roughly an extra 500 kilos or 1,000 pounds of additional raw materials over con conventional internal combustion powered vehicles. Now he failed to mention the fact that, well, all of that's fully recyclable. It's called black mass. It's already on, on the uh, exchange. You can buy it. It's around 10,000 US dollars per ton. So it's fully recyclable, but you cannot recycle. You don't, re no one recycles the engine from an internal combustion vehicle, which is also relatively heavy, right? Um, I, I, don't, I don't understand what he's saying here because the reality is those metals are going to be um, part of a closed loop cycle. We've already seen the evidence saying that by 2055, the world will have mined enough lithium, uh, enough precious metals that we won't need to mine anymore. I don't really understand the point. But anyhow, he says that he hopes breakthroughs will slash the weight of EV battery packs. Now, speaking of weight, are EVs really as heavy as he says? Well, pickup trucks, they are relatively heavy. I mean, especially, say, uh, the GMC Hummer EV, it's insanely heavy. But if you look at something like uh, a Tesla Model Y, that vehicle is actually a similar weight to comparably sized internal combustion vehicles. Tesla Model 3 exactly the same. Tesla Model 3, in fact, is lighter than a comparable Mercedes-Benz C-Class. So really, it comes down to how you build the vehicle, not necessarily putting in a massive battery pack. From an environmental standpoint, he says, I don't think it makes much sense to have heavy batteries. I think over the next decade, we'll be able to reduce the battery pack weight by 50%, hence reducing by 50% the use of additional raw materials against the conventional vehicle. Now, I don't doubt that that's possible, and I think that's that'd be great. You know, Stellantis, if they can achieve that, that's fantastic. I think that we probably will achieve that. But I don't see why it's actually, he's, he's saying that for EVs to take off, it's necessary. In other words, what he's saying is today, the certain segments of the car market that are not suited to electrification. And Stellantis is saying, oh, you know, um, large SUVs like the Kia EV9, they're just... They shouldn't exist, basically. Tavares didn't say exactly how Stellantis plans to reduce the weight of its battery packs by 50%. The conglomerate is embarking on a move to electrification, they say. The firm hopes that 100% of its sales in Europe by the end of the decade will be for all electric vehicles, while it believes EVs will account for 50% of its sales in the United States. So, I mean, that's a, that's a move in the right direction, I think. That's a good thing. Stellantis are aiming to sell 5 million EVs annually by 2030 and will introduce more than 75 different models by the end of the decade. Now, what I would have thought is rather than have 75 different models of EVs, I mean, imagine you walked into a shop and there were 75 different bicycles. Would you be confused? Would you be thinking, I don't know which one to buy? You know, I think even someone who's extremely confident, who is really decisive, would struggle to pick one flavor of ice cream from 75 different flavors. And that's ignoring all the existing products they already have. So we're talking probably 100 different models of EVs coming from one car group. 
maybe that's a little too many. Maybe they could focus on um, reducing the weight of the car instead, uh, doing things like you know, giga casting, uh, structural battery packs, like is done by numerous car companies now. Uh, there's numerous ways you can reduce the weight of a vehicle. And if you compare Stellantis's EVs to Tesla's, well, Stellantis would have a point. Their EVs need to be lighter. Underpinning the brand's EVs will be four vehicle platforms, dubbed the STLA Small, Medium, Large, and Frame, the latter of which adopts a body-on-frame design. Stellantis is working on three distinct electric drive modules, two battery cell chemistries, front, rear, and all-wheel drive configurations, and will deliver EVs with ranges of between 300 to 500 miles, or 500 to 800 kilometers. Now, it's not really true, that's what Stellantis say, that, but they do have EVs now that have 100, 150 miles. So really, they're saying that their new ones, 75 new models, will have 300 to 500 miles of range, which is insane. Surely they don't need to have 75 different new models of EVs that have that much range. I mean, not everyone needs that. That's just massive overkill to have 300 miles of range in a city car. Anyway, either way, guys, I mean, yes, I should be more positive. Stellantis, at least they're saying, you know what, we're going to be 100% EV in Europe by 2030, 50% EV in America by 2030. That's hard to believe considering where they are today. They're at like, what, 2%? <laughs> they're going to go from 2% to 50% in six years. They might do it, but it sort of sounds a little bit like Mary Barra making promises she can't keep. 